How is it an aloha is your unk? Aren't those the biggest fish ball you ever seen Hong Kong style? I'm visiting Rosemead. This is supposed to be the best uh, one ton and uh, fish ball place over here. So I'm going to check it out. They're just humongous. There's a big, big one ton over there or shrimp one ton. But anyway, uh, yeah, what I do is I travel a lot. Uh, this is the back entrance. Uh, I'll show you more of that later. But I, I do a lot of traveling. I do a lot of uh, eating, reviews, and you know, I show you what I go through the world, experience greater than stuff. And by the way, I do a lot of burpees. I'm on a uh, three year plus journey to do a minimum of 100 burpees each day. And I also do a thing called Superman, which uh, you're checking out here. Anyway, please hit that like and subscribe button and uh, help us get to, uh, I don't know, 3000. It's just a number, man. Have goals in life. And here we go with the review. Fitness, foodies, and the fabulous absurd. From burpees to Camus, you're never going to know what you're going to get from your unk, Burpee Yoga Uncle. Well, this little hole in the wall is definitely in the heart of Rosemead by Los Angeles. It's on a very major crossroad of Valley and uh, Garfield, and I actually did a loop around that. But the parking lot is behind it if you go behind Garfield. And this is kind of like the, the street view of the restaurant, but you can't really go in there. Or at least maybe you could, I don't know. We never try to go in there because where do we park the car? But that's what it looks like. I guess a little door you can walk in there, but we always go in the back. Right, you always go in the back. Right there, you go around and go in the back. And then the next view I want to show you is where the after you park the car, what the sign looks like because they are very, very Asian, man. Nothing English here. Uh, the first word is hoi. The other ones I have no clue. <laughs> and then one of those things is mean and whatever. Anyway, to make a long story short, yeah, I am almost an ABC now. Local Hawaiian boy ABC. You go in there and uh, it's a nondescript, again, hole in the wall place. Uh, very typical uh, one ton mean place. If you go to Hong Kong, this is exactly what it kind of looks like. Uh, the, the chef doesn't want me to film him, so uh, yeah. This is the menu. We had the shrimp one ton, which is humongous, and the house special uh, fish ball soup, and also the preserved egg with the uh, thousand euro egg, or whatever. And then one of us also wanted to get the uh, beef liver too, which is the other thing we have. Look at how big these balls are. I must admit that their their uh, chow their their noodle is very good, very tender. They do give a humongous portion. Uh, their one ton, this shrimp one ton is humongous too. And I'll give a review on both of the food. Makes me hungry just looking at that. It does look appetizing. And here is just a pork, uh, pork liver. Uh, typically they put this in congees, but uh, they the person that I'm with they just want to eat it the way it is. So yeah, you can tell it's a, it's just cooked just right. Yeah, yeah. Don't get squeamish. Don't get squeamish on me. You can ask them to overcook it. But those are the three dishes. You see the preserve, um, preserve uh, uh, congee, preserve eggs with the uh, uh, pork on the on the on the right hand side. But those are the three items that we order, and I'm gonna go ahead and review them for you right now. Okay. Well, here comes the speed review in the front, and I'll do the full monk bag in the in the back for me eating it. But uh, this a thousand euro egg uh, pork kanji, uh, it's all right. It's not the best I've ever had. Uh, it's, that would be in Vancouver. Uh, it does have a little bit of taste, but not enough for me. In fact, I think uh, some uh, food courts in one six eight cafeteria in, in uh, Southern Cali is better, <laughs> to be honest, and cheaper. Uh, the pork uh, liver. The pork liver stuff is, uh, they did make it just right, it's just finished cooking, so it's nice and tender, it's not hard at all, it's nice and juicy, but it doesn't have any taste, so if you like that kind of stuff, then you would eat that, but literally no taste, except for the texture, and it's not dry at all. And then we came for dish, the big, super big fish ball, that they probably made themselves, uh, and then with a, with a, uh, chow fun noodle and the soup. Now, first off, the soup don't have enough taste. And maybe not enough umami flavor or whatever it is. The fish ball itself is very nice and tender. But again, not enough taste. The texture is there, but there's a thing called uh, tan sing when you're eating uh, fish balls in Hong Kong. And they kind of don't have that. It's kind of like soft and mushy. I, I can tell that it's completely homemade. So if you like that kind of stuff, it is fantastic. Or if you're old with no teeth, this fish ball is right up your alley. As you can tell, I'm trying to put in the, the red vinegar with the sriracha sauce on it. 
Uh, it does taste a little bit better than that, but I, I was expecting more taste from the fish. Uh, it, it didn't give it to me. You know, it, it's filling though, and it does. It's, it's pretty tasty. The texture is really nice. But at the end of the day, would I order this again? Nah, probably not. I see there is other food that people order that I would probably want to try if I come back to this restaurant. But in terms of this fish fish ball, uh, I would say the noodle is probably the best. But they probably didn't make the noodle. But hey, you know, I couldn't finish the bowl at all. I only ate half. So. You do get your money's worth. Uh, they do give a lot of fish raw and a lot of food. Uh, here I am trying the uh, shrimp wonton. It's a humongous one. It's one of the biggest shrimp wonton I've ever seen. You see how big it is? It is just huge. And it comes with a huge... Yeah, those are the noodles. Uh, and uh, again, uh, the wonton is huge. There are actually real pieces of shrimp in there. It's not just grinded up. So uh, they must have specialized one ton skin to wrap this because there's, it's just it's look, look it's huge man my mouth is huge and that thing doesn't even fit in my mouth. You can see the big pieces of shrimp in there, yeah. But then again, it doesn't have enough taste for me. There's just not enough taste. Okay, I don't know how to explain it. Uh, when you eat it, you can you, you know it. But this this restaurant's been here for many many years. So maybe my taste bud is whack. Maybe I like too much tasty food. But for me, it was a very great presentation. But there's not enough taste for me again. Um, what can I say? In terms of the noodle, that noodle is terrible. That noodle that comes with the shrimp wonton mian. That noodle is uh, overcooked. It's too soft. It's not. It's not. There's no stringy texture like a rubber band, which is what you want. The dancing. Because the noodle they made, the noodle that they use, the yellow egg noodle over there, it's just, it's just not, not good quality to me. And the soup, uh, as they say in Chinese, it tastes like dishwater, dishwashing water. It doesn't have enough taste in there at all. I, so I, I mean, all in all, I, I don't want to knock down this particular restaurant. I probably give it like a three or four star out of it. I mean, it is good grub. They do give a lot of food. But in the end of the day, when I come back, uh, not for the dishes that I order, maybe I'll try other stuff. I see multiple, be multiple, be multiple people ordering a particular dish. I'll probably try that. I'm talking about this noodle. This noodle is uh, no good. It's overcooked. It is, uh, yeah. Anyway, that's pretty much the end of the review. Um, the rest I'm gonna put again as a monk bang so you can read through them all. And I'll put the menu towards the end too so you can see the entire menu. I only put a little bit of it. Thank you for stopping by and uh, hopefully you enjoy the this tour. You know, maybe you'll try this place, maybe you won't. And please hit that like and subscribe button, man. Bless up. This is your um, Berkeley Yoga Uncle.